if you will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. You go now. Courtroom cases are no less than a Daily Soap episode. Do you agree? If not, we recommend you to watch this video till the end. Defendants sometimes lose their sanity and do whatever they like to do at that point in time. Some have received double punishment charges only based on their rampageous attitude in front of the jury. See for yourself, the top most disrespectful defendants ever in court. 5. A domestic violence case filed by a husband against his ex-wife Melissa was being heard by Russell and Wayne County judges. They have both been married with kids. The husband desired only a peaceful life. Now you can pretty much understand what kind of a person his wife is. He explained that his problems began after their first year of marriage. Melissa, the ex-wife, had previously served with mental inquest warrants. In April, she was let out of jail. Melissa interrupted the conversation between her ex-husband and the judge with foul language that was unsuitable for the court of law. The judge issued a 10-day arrest warrant for misconduct in court right away. Suddenly, Melissa jumped on the judge's table in the attempt to catch him. The judge was taken aback by her abnormal reaction. The cops arrived and detained her. After serving five months in jail, she was transferred to a rehab facility. 4. The reaction of this defendant, even after receiving a sentence, is shocking. He was responsible for the murders of three women. Not only did he murder them, but he also sexually assaulted all of them. This American serial killer was a woman's worst nightmare in the state, and there was a reason for this. His childhood was marred by an abusive mother. Furthermore, his mother's boyfriends abused him. His crimes were found out only days after it occurred. A decomposing dead body was discovered in Madison's garage in 2013, and two more corpses were discovered as the investigation progressed. He was soon arrested. Victims included Angela Deskins, Sherelda Terry, and Shatisha Shealy. Madison was found guilty and sentenced to prison on April 4, 2016. Later, on June 2, 2016, during another trial, Judge Nancy R. McDonald sentenced Madison to death, based on the verdict of the jury. Victim impact statements are common in courts, and they usually end up being emotional speeches. Sherelda Terry's father, Van Terry, became concerned at this point. He looked at Madison as he spoke with mixed emotions, and then jumped on the table to capture the defendant. Michael Madison was smirking at the poor father. No father can stand that reaction. Maybe that's why he tried to attack the defendant. Van Terry was later removed from the courtroom without any charges being filed against him. Even the court recognized his situation. 3. Tobias Roman, a 27-year-old convict, was charged for robbery, public displaying of a deadly weapon, and threatening with intention to terrorize for stalking a female employee in a shopping mall. See his behavior in his first hearing. Before asking him any questions, the judge simply asked him to stand up. But surprisingly, he refused to do so, saying his foot hurts. My foot hurts. I can't stand up right now, but I am right here. How on earth can he behave like this in a respectable court? As if he is boss. At least he has to cordially act so that he may get some reductions while getting punished. These people are total Karens. But later he gets up as the judge repeats. Then the judge asked him a question. Mr. Roman, is your truth correct, man? This disturbed the defendant. His reply was quite unexpected. Tobias is my first name. That's it. Giggles or Tobias? Why does he say this? We think maybe he was not on good terms with his family, so simply he hates the family name behind his name. But the irony is his other name is Giggles. His deeds are not at all making us do so. While the judge was asking the public prosecutor to defend Roman, aka Giggles, he said this, It is all a lie though. 
how much can a judge control? The judge asked the defendant to shut his mouth. Charles Bremer then gave him a final warning. If he says one more word without being asked, he will be removed from the courtroom. As crisp and clear as that. Okay, now we will think he might stay calm, but his basic nature is to irritate others, right? Want to talk? Go ahead. That was his next reply. And the judge gave the savage reply, all right, you need to leave. And he left, but he did not want to stop there. Maybe he wants more punishment. This man is so creepy. He abused the judge and said, I am going to murder you when I see you. It was so loud, the judge heard this. The judge asked the law enforcement to appropriate action to his statement. For threatening the judge, he was given eight months in prison, and for his original charges, all were dismissed except for threatening with intent to terrorize. That gave him three years in prison. If you have the power to punish Tobias Roman, how will you do this? Comment your answer below. 2. The Broward County Courtroom in Florida, Christopher Collin appeared via video call for his bond hearing. The charges against him were two violations of a restraining order related to domestic violence against his ex-girlfriend. Another case of a felonious assault against his current girlfriend, who was pregnant, Judge John Hurley was irritated to see Colin because he remembered him from the previous trial. That is why the judge was hesitant to grant him bond. Christopher Colin requested one from the judge because he had a bondsman ready to obtain one. Colin became enraged when the judge firmly stated his claim. He even used derogatory language towards the prestigious court, and Colin stormed out of the courtroom. The judge ordered his return and set a bond of $250,000 for him. That sum was insignificant to Colin, but now comes the real punishment. The judge denied any bonds for his actions. Because Colin was upset with the judge, the entire video was bleeped. He kept saying that he has a lawyer. What a lawyer can do with such a discourteous defendant is what we were thinking. Colin had no intention of keeping his mouth shut, so he was sentenced to 364 days in Broward County Jail. He was also charged with bad behavior in the courtroom. The amusing part was that one week later, the same Christopher Colin appeared before Judge John Hurley, apologizing for his bad behavior. That was so funny to see, comparing his drastic change from the angry man to crying baby. Perhaps his lawyer asked him to apologize. However, the apologies did not result in the bond exclusion being lifted. The judge was strong on his side. 1. We know why this happened in the first place. Jacob Larson is the one who fell in love. However, if the lady is not comfortable with it, it's best to leave her. Larson stalked his middle school classmate and frustrated her in every way possible at the end prompting her to file a lawsuit. It was all about personal safety. He was insane because he had been stalking her on Facebook for over a year. He even paid her a visit at work. Even after the court issued a restraining order, he sent 22 messages to her. The hearing began in the circuit court of Jackson County. Judge John McBain presided over the proceedings. The judge was questioning him and confirming the truth of his statements. Larson's attitude on the other hand was disrespectful and went too far. He claimed he was drawn to her because of her makeup and hair. That was the weirdest answer ever. Furthermore, the other reason is quite amusing. He began stalking her after she began posting pictures on Facebook. Beware girls while posting pictures on your social media account. They are going to accuse you of making them fall in love with you. <laughs> Just kidding. Larson even tried to accuse the judge of being biased at one point, which was completely false. He was warned by the judge for his nasty attitude. He was sentenced to 93 days in county jail. Larson's refusal to be handcuffed enraged the judge even more. McBain took an unexpected turn this time removing his judge's robe and straining the accused. And that was a rare thing to see inside a courtroom. Have you noticed something else? 
Some judges are just savage. If the defendant tries to mess with them, they will later repent. That is heroism. Did you like this video? Then give us a thumbs up and also comment down what you feel after watching this video. Which one above was the most disturbing one for you? We are leaving for now, but surely see you soon. Take care, bye.